In 1951, in San Diego, California, Robert O. Peterson opened the first Jack in the Box. And despite controversies like mislabeled horse meat in 1980 and E. coli in 1993, this fast food chain has made it. It has survived. It has stood the test of time. You can stuff Jack back in that box, but he's gonna pop back, baby. Today, I'm eating everything from Jack in the Box. As always, he's a menu is sponsored by Keith's Chicken Sauce and introducing Keith's Burger Sauce and not too hot sauce for burgers and other stuff. I'm Keith Appersberger. I'm in a big paper mache head. Let's eat the menu. Now, normally I start these videos with all the food on the table. Today, the food's coming in shifts, so I don't have it all at once, but hopefully that'll make it taste better. You get it. All right, let's eat the menu, starting with the breakfast. We got a lot of breakfast sandwiches here. We got some coffees. I'm really drawn to the extreme sausage. This is a double, <laughs> it's a double breakfast burger. It's a sausage patty. Mm -hmm. Sausage has a good classic breakfast sausage spice. Everything is sticking to my teeth. It's like the plastic cheese and egg is sticking to my teeth. It's really good. I would eat this. I would recommend this. This looks like it's gonna be a pancake sandwich. Huh. This is the grilled sourdough Swiss sandwich. It's got a lot of fucking shit on it. Whoa, it's got two eggs. Does it need two eggs? <laughs> nope. But let's try the ultimate breakfast. It looks like it's on the same kind of bread. Hmm. So much egg. Why does this look like a plastic bun? It looks like a plastic bun. It's so shiny. It's a rubber bun. Rubber bubby baby bunker. Are there any biscuits coming up? Love a good biscuit. Hard to f up a biscuit. This looks fucking delicious, doesn't it? Look at the darkness on that sauce. Look at the bright yellow egg. Well, Nick, I, I'm sorry to tell you, ain't no cheese on this mother This is just a sausage egg biscuit, no cheese. Mm, could use some cheese. This is the bacon egg and cheese biscuit. Here's the cheese. Bacon has a good crunch. The rest of it tastes like nothing. I, I like this, I guess, better than the other one. The sausage breakfast jack. Mm-hmm. Their burger bun is better than their biscuit and their weird other bread. I'm gonna throw a little burger sauce on it just because it's presenting itself as a burger. Whoa, we globbed. I mean, we globbed on out, but that's okay. Mmm. Wow, that, that turned this regular jack into an ultimate jack, which you can also purchase. Loaded breakfast! Woo! We're feeling good. I'm getting heartburn. We got the same thing. Why, what, there's so many layers. Does it look like I'm holding like a deck of cards? It's just all the animals. You got pigs, you got chickens and eggs, you got some grains. I don't know, I actually weirdly found this one balanced. This one's pretty good. The Bacon Breakfast Jack, there's a little bit of an onion on it. That shouldn't be there, but I like onions. That's good. This would be good in the morning on the way to your soccer game. It just feels like good soccer food. Soccer fuel right here. This one is the ham. Ah! Well, this is the original breakfast, Jack. This is like the base. This is their first breakfast sandwich. This is all built on this. Look, the bun's having a hard time. The bun is just, I'll eat the, the broken bun part. Nah, ham has never been my favorite breakfast food. Unless you're in the South and they have country ham and then totally different ham. Very different ham. What is this? What could this possibly be? Oh, it's a croissant. It's a croissant. I like when people do the croissants, but this doesn't seem that croissant to me. Let's see if there's layers. Hmm, I would say no. Pretty good. I, oh, look at this bun. Just grabbed onto that box. It's like, I will live another life. This is the bacon croissant. This one looks like a commercial. Doesn't this look good? It looks pretty perfect. Mm-hmm. Again, I don't taste the ham at all. Who's trying to get you to eat the ham? <laughs> eat the ham. You're gonna love it. Okay, look, I got a new idea for a sandwich. First of all, there's ham. Then we put another layer of ham, three eggs. Two more slices of ham. It's called the best one, mostly ham. Those are the breakfast sandwiches. And now let's try some iced coffees. The mocha. I can see why people drink this. It's not for me. If this was ice cream, I would love it. Not bad though. I like it better than the Dunkin' Donuts equivalent coffees and I'm sure that's gonna piss some people off, but kind of part of the show. Come and get the, <laughs> the iced coffee. Yeah, boring. It does need the flavor. Having had the mocha one, I get why they're selling flavored versions. This is just boring. The caramel iced thing. Whoa, 
I had a whole range of emotions in there. At first I thought, this is pretty good. And then I was like, whoa, reminds me of gas station flavored pump coffee, like at the, uh, what is the one that I think of? Pilot. Pilot gas stations actually have pretty decent gas station coffee. So if you've driven through Nebraska recently and you want to get a glimpse of that again, this is that. All right, those are some of the breakfast items. Let's move on to the breakfast burritos. Hold on, time out. They have nine or 10 breakfast sandwiches and they have breakfast burritos? Why, Jack? Get back in the bars. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm rarely full this early. Well, let's go in. We've got some platters, which I like. I think only McDonald's has the platters otherwise, so I'm interested to try someone else's platter. But let's start with the Meat Lovers Burrito. Not a beautiful wrapping. Kind of looks like a person in a hood. <laughs> Uh, again, as I always state, I eat burritos from the middle, not because I'm a monster, but because the ends are only gonna be tortilla and I only get one bite. I wanna know what it tastes like. Holy cow. Dude, how many sausage patties are in there? <laughs> how is this a burrito? Does this look like any thought went into it? <laughs> that said, I enjoyed the flavor. I can kind of feel this food in my temples today. I haven't felt that before. This is the grande sausage. This is the first time I've encountered Spanish on the menu. Hopefully not the last. It's really thin. Like you can see the cheese. Can you see like the color to it? Now I actually think that's a good quality in a tortilla. I think a tortilla should be really thin. <laughs> now you're not gonna believe this. I didn't get a single bite of sausage. Whoa. It's like nacho cheese. It's actually really good. Like flavor-wise, the cheese is kind of like nacho cheese poured on eggs, which I've never done before, and I'm pretty into it. What do you think that is? A hash brown? Not anymore. <laughs> it spreads like butter. <laughs> oh my God. A fully saturated in cheese and oil hash brown, not delicious. Look at the egg. Woo! <laughs> yeah! free, bitch! <laughs> I'm free! That's the jack in the box. There is one item that comes in the platter that I'm just gonna go ahead and eat out of the box. I think the box is adorable. These are these little silver dollar pancakes. They look great. They look exactly like those little guns that shot discs, little foam discs around your room, and you would lose those in a heartbeat. Oh, it tastes like frosting. It tastes like cake. They expect you to dip this in sugar? <laughs> It's so sweet. And the syrup reminds me of coffee somehow. But, can do this. Welcome to Jack in the Box! <laughs> oh, f <laughs> <laughs> This is the jumbo breakfast ba bacon platter with sausage also. Oh my gosh, the hash brown should not be put in a steam box. <laughs> Look at that. So flexible, it could be in the WAP video. And it top, and it drop. That's some <laughs> WAP, that's some, uh, oh wow. The flavor is really good. The texture's horrible. It's all wet. We've already had this shit. The sausage by itself. And somebody else has already helped themselves. <laughs> it looks like, doesn't it? I know they didn't, but we, it's fun to imagine. I like the sausage patty. You know, it's hard to f them up. The scrambled eggs. Yum, sure. This other box is the exact same thing, so I'm not gonna eat it. Next up, tacos and sides. There are a lot of sides, so let's just, we're just gonna work our way through this little pile here. Let's start with the bacon and cheese potato wedges. They feel hot. A lot of cheese on that. I like the flavor a lot. There's onions in there too. Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella. 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 With a marinara sauce. Oh, we hate to see that. We want to see that stretch. Almost. Uh oh, no flavor. Not all. Nothing. And look, you can see little herbs, right? That should have a flavor. None. But the marinara, however, very weird. Lots of flavor. Can't say I like the flavor. Can I crush it with my finger and thumb? Oh, what the hell? Am I milking it? Oh my God. <laughs> I did not expect that. I love curly fries. Uh, not Arby's. The Springs. Mm, I think they're just a little undersalted. However, I do think there's sodium. It has, it, has the effect of salt on my mouth without it tasting salty. Like I'm, I'm thirsty, very thirsty. Here is the funniest thing I think at any fast food place is the Jack in the Box taco. I'm pretty sure, and I'm not super sure, that this is just ground beef, American cheese, and lettuce, put in a tortilla, folded and dropped into the deep fryer with no regard for its life. Am I right? Employees, please comment below. Anonymously, don't get people fired. Mm-hmm. 
The flavor's not that different from a crunchy Taco Bell taco, but it sure is uglier. As ugly as it is, I think I like it. I mean, let's try the potato wedges by themselves real quick before moving into the more boxes, because potato wedges, hmm, this one's undercooked. <laughs> what is this? Oh! Stuffed jalapenos, little deep fried jalapenos with cheese inside. They're delicious, you love them, I love them, let's go. Mm. Oh yeah, these are pure fat. And this is like a hint of sweetness, the natural sweetness of the jalapeno. The jalapeno flavor shines through like a beacon of light. Through the darkness, a beautiful young voice. Ah. That's the experience in my mouth. The onion rings. See ya. Not like amazing, amazing, but pretty good. I'm gonna dip in some ranch. Hmm, not a bad ranch. <laughs> Not a bad ranch at all. <laughs> oh, hey, egg rolls, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> They're crushing the multicultural menu. It's good. It's great. Little taco babies. Their daddy was here earlier. Now the kids are here back. What are these actually called? Tiny tacos. Tiny tacos. Guys, call them taco babies. Think about what you get to say on a commercial. It's spring, and you know what that means. We got the taco babies back. Remember when we were babies? <laughs> yeah, like eating a bag of Fritos. I recommend them. The loaded tiny tacos. I guess they decided, how can we make the taco babies eat more like a cereal? And this is their solution. It's not bad, but it's not better than normal plain taco babies. We're not even halfway through. Can you believe it? All right, this is the jumbo, jumbo box. You get all of them. This is a dream of mine. This has always been a dream of mine. I've been thinking about this all my life. This is what we like to call in the business the beige trio. You know, we put a little ranch on it. Kind of like a little Midwest lollipop. Jack, my boy, you did it again. Can I be perfectly honest? I like that more than each of the things about himself. So not better than the jalapeno pepper. How are they not invited to Jack's ultimate party? Or what about the baby tacos? This is what it should be. This is, this is Jack's dream. Well, that was fun, huh? Those are, the, those are somehow just some sides and tacos. <laughs> This is crazy. So what better time to invite my sweet, sweet friend to the Eat The Menu table stage. He's in a box. Who is it? <laughs> Eugene! He is the guest. Eugene specifically requested to be here for something healthy. We laughed. Yeah, I just had a little bowl of cereal made of tacos in the last round. Oh, you already had the tacos? Little taco babies. That's what I know Jack in the Box for. It's yeah. the taco. It's the drunk food you get uh, if Taco Bell is an open. That's what I did in college. The chickens. Hey, that looks pretty good. Why is the inside of the bread in gray? How are you already crazy? I thought you just started. There's a lot of food here. The home style ranch chicken club. Does that mean there's bacon on it? Yeah. Nope, little bacon bits. Yeah, okay. little bacon ranch. All right, let's go for it. Hmm. As I was biting into it, I got the distinct smell of peanut butter. I think it's the bun. Mm-hmm. The bun smells like peanut butter. That's strange. It's odd. But the taste isn't bad. Taste isn't bad. It's very mayo forward, but it does taste like club sandwich. The lettuce looks good. I'm gonna eat the lettuce by itself. Mmm, turtles will love that. You're very particular about your fast food lettuce. I hate bad fast food lettuce. And most places have bad fast food lettuce. This has got good fast food lettuce. But let's try the spicy cheese. Squirrel cheese. Let's open it this way. This is this is the <laughs> spicy this direction. Cheese. You spicy. Gotta oh, this is a different bun. It's a different bun. Does it smell? Does it smell like peanut butter? No. Oh. It smells better. Jack's spicy, spicy chicken, chicken with, with cheese. cheese. So is the chicken spicy? I think so. It's not very spicy. Mm -mm. Even for me, I'm a baby spice boy. Did all the boxes have this hat on? I guess they did. There's a grilled chicken on a toast looking sandwich. I had this bread and breakfast sandwiches. Not as toasted as you want. <laughs> you're, not, you're not enunciating. <laughs> this looks good! This also has bacon on it. Is this a club? Have you ever seen chicken that looks straight up like fake chicken? It's, it's a little so smooth. Waxy. It's so smooth. Yeah. Do you like it better than the, the peanut butter roll? Mm -hmm. I like the bacon. Yeah, I think the toast is good. Try this sandwich with my burger sauce. I think you'll like it. What do you think? The photo's funny. Yeah. 
It looks like someone, um, no, I won't say it. What? Because I want people to buy it. Don't buy it. I'm just saying it. Really? Yeah. You think it looks like poop? But I think it's like, yeah. Well, one good thing is it doesn't taste like poop, that's for sure. No, it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Unlike poop. <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> I've had it. Keith should know. I was a child and I did eat a little bit of dog poop as a child, and guess what? I cried. Why did you eat dog poop? I thought it was candy. Was it fresh or was it dry? No, it was dry. And it was on the ground? Yeah. Well, that was your first problem. I was very young. We're talking three. Anyhow, you know what's f***ing crazy? Mmm, cicadas. Oh, I love cicadas. They were in season in Seoul when I was there, and I oh. believe the next cicada eruption in the Northeast and the Midwest is 2022. It's they f*** hard, and they're just sitting there on trees screaming, Somebody Here's the last sandwich, and it's got a shitty bun. Oh, that one's sad. It looks like a potato. Can we talk about the lettuce? Lettuce is good. I wonder if they have to have better lettuce because they're putting <laughs> nice, nice rip. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I wonder if they have nicer lettuce because they put it on like the tacos and a lot of other things. Yes. Maybe. So dry. I am impressed at how much lettuce they put on this. The lettuce is wetter than the chicken. Lettuce was a star. Oh, oh Eugene, it's great to see you. Anything new to share? Am I getting smaller? I think you're shrinking from the weight of the grease. Go bug in your box. <laughs> All right, okay. Eugene, we're out with the Eugene and in with the next box boy. Where are the burgers? Where are the burger part? We got six burgers to start, and then we're gonna be joined by another guest in the box. <laughs> the name of this is contradictory, is the Junior Jumbo Jack. How is it Jumbo and Junior? Wouldn't that just make it regular? Mm hmm Now there's too much lettuce. Nothing about it says Jumbo to me. Junior and Bacon Cheeseburger. That, hey, I love JBC. Not as good as Wendy's. Mm. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful bun. Not enough flavor. The bread is bad. Bread's everywhere. Junior Jumbo Jack E Burger. Junior Jumbo Jack. It's Junior Jumbo. Blah, that Jumbo. It's good. It tastes like a Whopper. That tastes like a McDonald's Whopper. I get McDonald's made a Whopper. And it looks like a Whopper too. And this bun is also bad. This one's like hard. I don't know what's going on with the buns. I don't know if they've figured that the guy ordering all the menu should just clean out all the old buns because he probably doesn't care. But I do care. I care the most. I'm the most f***ing viewed fast food reviewer on the planet. Don't you forget. This is the jumbo. <laughs> it's cold. This is ice cold. And we had it under a heat lamp and everything. Hmm. It's dry. If I'm being totally honest, it tastes like this was made yesterday. And, and it was probably pretty good yesterday. Oh my god, but look at this. What the hell's happening? Does it look like a, like a bug? Does it look like the face of a giant ant? This is the classic buttery jack. That's a whopper. I'm being told there's shit on my face. Did I get it? <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> Did I get it? Mmm, <laughs> it's good. And this last one here is the Bacon Burger Burger Boy from Bumpin' E.B. The Bacon Swiss Buttery Jack. So here they've decided, in lieu of vegetables, they'll only put bacon. One or the other. Normal toppings are only bacon. Mmm, too savory. On the salty to sweet scale, salty, sweet, I'd put it here. Ugh. <laughs> Mwah. That's so much work. Take it from me. The king. I'm kind of like the Burger King. I don't know. I've eaten a lot of burgers. That's round one of the burgers. Joining me now for some more specialty burgers this is our next guest. Let's find out who he is. Ned. What's up, YouTube? Let's eat some burgers, How's it been going so far? Rough, Ned. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This were, is like later on in the video? There were like 20 breakfast items. Oh, no. But uh, here we're for the main event. The well, burgers. The burgers, yeah. And uh, we got, and also here's a fun thing. They didn't give me a good hash brown for breakfast, so you get to have some of the hash brown. Oh, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> the hash brown, not oversteamed in a box this time. Yeah, that's delicious. Yeah! I don't know what you're talking about. This is great. This is gonna be a great day. We're having a great time. Look at us, we're wearing cute hats. <laughs> Eugene wouldn't wear it. Ugh. 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 
whatever. If I could look perfect though, maybe I'd care more. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know? Hey, let's try a burger, Ned. Sourdough patty melt for me and my boy, Ned. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's a heavy burger. <laughs> could use some lettuce, to be honest. I'm fresh, got a fresh stomach, fresh legs, I'm into it, I'm gonna have another bite. Whoa, Ned. Okay, here's something fun for you, Ned, mm. you don't know this, is that until now we have not had shredded lettuce except on the tacos, we had full leaf lettuce, and all of a sudden, the lettuce has been shredded. Now, that's new, isn't it, audience? <laughs> that's different. That's new. <laughs> it smells like leftover Taco Bell. <laughs> it smells bad. Not where you want to be. It does smell like leftover Taco Bell. That's the shredded lettuce. It doesn't have a shred of dignity left. <laughs> Let's try it. Whoa, whoa. Not good. Why? And it's spicy. Ow. But like, not a tasteful spice. Mm-mm. Not a gentle spice. The French fries. Hmm. Cheers. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ned. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're cold, but I can tell if they were hot, mm -hmm. they'd be hot. Yeah. Did you watch Matt Pat's food theory video about fries and bags? And this is the best bag. If they have this kind of packaging for fries, you're gonna get the most fries. Oh. Shout out to Matt Pat. This one looks good. The tomato looks good. I don't think this looks good. Keith. You don't no. think the tomato? The you, you've got Stockholm syndrome. You're trapped here. In no world do you look at this and say, this is what I want. What's this called? This is a tomato and, and and mayonnaise sandwich. I think they should just stop with the sourdough. You know, I like sourdough. I like this one a little better, but it's because I like tomatoes. Very tomato forward sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we being too critical? I feel like we're being very critical. <laughs> But we, it deserves our critique. Yeah, look, I, I'm honest, but Jack in the Box could have sponsored me before this, thus preventing me from making this video, and they chose not to. That's true. This is the Sourdough Patty Melt Double. Wow. With Keith's Burger Sauce. Whoa. Burger Sauce is like the one kind of left turn <laughs> flavor, otherwise it would be all just Oh fat. my god, so thick. I have never vomited from any of the menu, but guess what? <laughs> Today might be the day. <laughs> Let's move on to the juicy one. This Look at this, oh, this looks great. This looks good. This is what I'm talking about. More of this. This is the ultimate du double cheeseburger with toppings. This is... This is a double jack, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oops. Are you only up on Jack in the Box? Mm -hmm. Everything's actually working together to tell a story. Don't give me this like it's just beef and cheese and mayonnaise. I Don't give that. me this just beef and tomato. That. If that's your thing. Grow up. Grow up. Grow the f up. That one doesn't Why? Really Why not toppings? We actually, just went through this. I will say that was my favorite type of burger as a kid. <sighs> Is it, uh, what is the difference? Just the bread? A lot of the differences in the sandwiches today, Ned, are the bread. <laughs> but this is the ultimate cheeseburger from Jack in the Box. Okay. That's what that should taste like. This burger is the Jack. Bee, this is the Buck Bee. The bacon ultimate cheeseburger. Again, don't all the middle. Hey, editor, show us all the middles of the sandwich in a row. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. mm, the bun is bad, but the bacon's good. That was the driest of the bunch. Mm -hmm. all right. I still don't mind the bacon. Mm, the bacon's okay. I can't eat any more of these burgers. I sure am glad it's over, but Ned, you were the light that I needed in this darkness. I'm glad that I can be here for you. Yeah. Bring some light to what otherwise has been a, a trying time. It's been a trying time. And you know what else can be a trying time? Parenthood. But that's why you should check out the new Baby Steps podcast. It's Ned and Arrow's new Baby Steps podcast about babies. <laughs> we make it look cute on Instagram, but parenting is super messy and dirty, so we get into all that. All right, we'll see you next time, Ned. Yeah, bye. We'll see you in the box now go ahead and get in your box <laughs> 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 All right, it's time for a salad and a few more chicky dickies. And joining me on the Eat the Menu Table stage now is. 
<laughs> it's my sack in a box. It's the sack in the box. Hey, Zach's here, everybody. Oh Watch out for that garbage. How you been? You know, this is my first time ever having Jack in the box. A lot of it's not good. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Let's Ding. try a chicken nugget. Ding a dunk. Mm. Mm. Not bad. That's good chicken. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yo, Jack, you listening? Mr. Box? Hey, Mr. Box? Buy this shit. Here's the deal. Jack? Jack in a box. Jack? If you hire me as your spokesperson. Mr. Box? I will take this video off the internet. <laughs> Dear Mr. Box, if you want to see this video taken down, you have 24 hours to respond. Wow! Holy shit, look at these chicken strips! Or chicken tenders? Or chicken jacks? Are you joking my butthole? Are you kidding me? This place has nuggies and strippies? And spicy strippies? Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Dare I say the nuggies are better than the strippies? I kind of, I think you're right, but I do take the taste the black pepper in this now. Now I'm very excited for this. I, the measure of a qual. Mm? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. Don't worry. It only takes a few bites of this food to fully break your brain. <laughs> the measure of a chain is the quality of their spicy chick nug. These look way better Ooh. than the other ones, right? They like Ooh. just look better. These are not the same. These are in no way the same food. This is chicken. This might be a jackalope. We don't know. We don't know. It kind of looks like a fish stick. It might be fish. All right, let's try it. Oh, it's much spicier than I expected. Like in a great way. Mm -hmm. Wow. It makes yeah. you go, <laughs> it's spicy. <laughs> like this is not a building heat. This is one bite and it's hitting me all over. It's the same spice seasoning as the Wendy's Spicy Nugs. Wow, you really are in too deep. Oh, I gotta move on to <sighs> bullshit yeah. salad. Okay. This is South, Southwest Crisp Chicken sa Salad. What am I supposed to do with this? What if we just smelled it? <laughs> smell the menu. Smell the menu, I God. I think that would be way healthier. It doesn't smell good. No, also, are we supposed to just put ranch all over this? <laughs> all right, well, I'm not gonna do that, so let's put some Keith's chicken sauce. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea. Right. What's this salad called? This is plain chicken without beans. How is it, Zach? <laughs> how, how's it so Oh, the corn's bad. Even. How's it so bad? I'm not swallowing this. You, here, wait. <laughs> Don't spit it in Jack's head, you, you crazy boy. I'm gonna swallow it. Close your eyes. Just swallow. The chicken club salad. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build a salad on top of my, <laughs> top of my nut leg, leg it. I feel defeated from that bite. <laughs> All the vegetables individually are pretty good in this salad. I taste the cucumber, taste fresh. Carrots taste good, cheese tastes nice, my favorite vegetable. How's the tomato? Tomato's also good. Mm. The tomatoes here have been pretty good, which has been very surprising. Mm. I would not recommend it though. Try a crouton. Okay. I really like croutons. Whoa. Oh, wait. wow. It's like eating a pizza. <laughs> it tastes like a whole pizza. It's like taking a garlic <laughs> stick and just piling <laughs> up and shoving it in your mouth. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. That's like a ramen packet seasoning. I Ooh. understand though, because this salad's got nothing going on. Add a little bit of that, ba bam. Holy. Call it Emerald, you got yourself some pow flavor. Grilled chicken salad. I'm gonna just try this chicky. All right, I'm gonna try the chicky or the cute cu cookie. Get the cu out of here, <laughs> Oh. You know what's bumming me out? Huh? I feel like we're being punished for choosing a salad, you know? Uh, we're being punished. And uh, there are a lot of places in this country that they're in food deserts. You're trying to be healthy, you're trying to do the right thing, and these are the only options. And honestly, I would take heart disease over this. I was thinking just now, what if you serve these as a smoothie? The Southwest Chicken Smoothie. Well, Zach, I'm glad you could join me. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Zach. Get back in your box. Make sure you follow Zach at, at Corn Diddy. I sell tea. Okay, bye. Bye, Zach. We'll be right back. Now it's time for kids' meals and Chinese food. Yep, that's what's there. Let's say the Chinese food for last. The cheeseburger for babies. Yep, that's the same. <laughs> oh, it's even drier. I bet they cook it even more because of the E. coli. I guess I'll wash it down with the apple juice. It's good. The chicken nuggets are back for babies. 
Mm-hmm. Chicken nuggets are still good, even when they're the same. This is a curly fries. I don't wanna eat the same food again. We're already gonna do that in a minute. Oh my God, what is this? They have one item at Jack in the Box that Men Health says is one of the healthiest items at a fast food restaurant. Grilled chicken pita. <laughs> it's a chicken fajita pita. It's a chicken fajita pita. I'm gonna eat a chicken fajita pita. <laughs> oh, it smells so bad. The chicken fajita pizza is it may be the healthiest, but it's not the most delicious. It's heavy though, check this out. <laughs> Men's health. And then hamburger for babies. This is like the 40 cent burger that McDonald's started their entire dreams with. But this is Jack and Luck. I mean, this tastes exactly how you want it to. When did 1% happen? You know, I grew up all my life. You got whole milk, skim milk, or you had 2%. And then Napoleon Dynamite came out and they were drinking 1%. And I had like, what? That must be a funny movie thing. Movie, get it? I haven't had real milk in a long time. It's good. It tastes like 2%. And milk is my favorite part of the kids' meals. <laughs> but it's not just about the kids' meals here. No, no, no. Jack in the Box is known for its multicultural expressions. This is the chicken teriyaki bowl. And this is a side of white rice. The chicken teriyaki bowl comes with white rice, but this is also on the menu, so it's something you can get. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have a strong rule that I don't spit out food in life. Wow, it never got better through the whole chewing. Let's try the rice. Why rice? <laughs> mm. It smells like it's made with the water that they use to wash dishes after the dishes have been washed. It is putrid, but we finally made it to the video part that I'm excited for, the munchies section. So for the first time ever in Eat The Menu history, I'm gonna get high before we continue because this menu is for high people and they need to know what it's like for a high person to review it. So I will go now smoke a joint. Let's roll it roll all around. So this is the munchies section, take one. I am dying. You can't eat this much Jack in the Box. It's not meant to be eaten. What could possibly be left? Yeah, really Becky. <laughs> Becky, come here. Get yeah, Becky in here. Get Becky get in here. And next up to help me take down Jack's munchy meal, my wife. <laughs> Becky! Becky's here to save the day. Okay, so in preparation for the Jags Munch meal, we got high, and then <laughs> I just realized how <laughs> upsettingly full I was from the amount of food I've eaten already. And then luckily, Becky showed up right in the nick of time. So Becky has volunteered to come in and eat these items for me while I sit here and enjoy her amazing company. Spicy nacho chicken sandwich. <laughs> I've never had Jack in the Box. Oh, <laughs> that looks, looks good. It looks like a grilled cheese with onion rings and chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> I would eat this late night. I, I would know. order this. I've eaten all those individual items. I mean, you gotta take a really big bite to get everything, but <laughs> the flavor's good. You're spicy. It looks wild. Are you okay? I'm not okay. <laughs> I feel <laughs> sick. It's so hot. I feel sick. It's killing me. It's a chicken tater, tater melt. melt. So I assume it's a chicken sandwich with tater top. <laughs> <laughs> What? <gasps> croissant what? spicy is that again. Croissant? Who oh, wants a croissant oh at nighttime? This looks more like a junior high chicken patty. Uh -huh. And then atop the chicken patty is hash brown. <laughs> and then there's some yellow cheese and white cheese and pros prosciutto. Oh, it's just ham. <laughs> they found a place to put the ham. <laughs> it's so stretchy. Oh it my god. Like a, it won't rip. It feels oh like I'm god, touching Becky. like an innard. Becky, please. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's disgusting. I mean, the hash brown tastes kind of good, but the cheese is really indistinguishable. I don't know what kind it is, only what color. The menu calls it an ooey gooey blend of three cheeses and ranch. Oh my God. <laughs> three cheese? What's the third cheese? Oh my God. It feels like for you? No. <laughs> no, I'm out. I'm out. It's so gross. This one also comes with a taco. I can't handle it. No. What? What the kind of taco is this? Jack! I'm not eating that. This one is a meal. They all come with tacos. I can't eat anything else. You gotta eat it. You gotta put it to the side. <laughs> I've eaten eat it. it. I, I promise you, whatever it is, I've eaten it. It's a burger with curly, oh, curly fries oh, and cheese why? and I believe sriracha. Yeah. And look at this nasty little burger. No. <laughs> Which Keith will enjoy later. I can't, I refuse. I know what it tastes oh, like. I'm married to quitter. Hey, you chew, 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 chew. I'm dying. <laughs> Here, I'll breathe <laughs> deep, heavily into it. Describe, hold on. It is exactly as I described. The meat is definitely dry, but the bacon, there's no bacon. Oh, they should put bacon on this. If you're gonna do this, put bacon on it. What is left? It's a cheeseburger. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the stacked grilled cheeseburger. Oh, we got three different oh. kinds of cheese operating here. I believe we have a slice of cheese, a light drizzle of a yellow cheese, and then perhaps a liquid cheese. So I could eat this. Eat yeah, this. okay. Mm -hmm. Tastes the same. You know, I'm into the grilled cheese. It's not a bad grilled cheese. They just needed, you know, they forgot. Grilled cheese is usually full size. You gotta eat the menu. I'm dying. Mm. I'm dying. I feel like smoking has had the opposite effect on the <laughs> munchie box. It's turned you off. It's made me realize how sick I was. <laughs> There's so much. And everything's the same sandwich with new bread. That's yeah. Jack in the Box. Oh God, how much is left? Desserts. Desserts? Okay, I can do a few little sips of ice cream. That'll feel good. There's only so much your stomach can take before some part of your brain just turns everything into revolting in a panic save you <laughs> method. We're back, baby. Oh boy. How do I look? Do I look normal again? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. All right, we're back. Little churros. Oh, there was something in the churro. Oh, it's coming on both sides. I like the flavor though, but the goop is a little bit too much granulated sugar. Yeah. It almost burns my tongue. Shame on you. Shame on you, Jack, <laughs> for many reasons. Shame on you. The chocolate overload cake. This is pretty okay, chocolate cake in a plastic box. It's good, rich, heavy, not bad. Not bad. <gasps> Did it open? Nope. Oh, thank God, I felt so bad. Mm. But it turned out, no harm was done. The New York style cheesecake. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> not really how you want to see a cheesecake, <laughs> you know? But maybe I don't know Jack. What are your thoughts? It doesn't really taste like anything. Um, sure. It tastes like it looks. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was fun. <laughs> hey, those are good. Yeah. Like, are you sticking around for the milkshakes? You gonna leave? What do you think? No, I don't drink the milkshakes. What was your favorite moment here? I mean, there were a lot. There were a lot happened when I walked in. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of stages of things. Uh -huh. All right, thanks, Becky. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye, everyone. Bye, Becky. Boom, bam, beam, bam. We're doing it, guys. The da 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 Oh, yeah. Becky was a treat. She really brightened my day. We thought that getting high for the munchies segment would make me want to eat the munchies food, but it really didn't. It really turned me off of it. It was a struggle. So we just got to get four more sips of sugar. That's pretty doable, right? Four teaspoons of food. I think we can do it. This is Strawberry Milkshake from Jack in the Box. Sure, the chocolate one. Also good. Tastes like a good chocolate ice cream shake. The vanilla shake. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> the Sonic shakes were better, but these are not bad. This is the cookies and cream shake. Cookies and cream. They, they delivered on it. It tastes like Oreos. It's, it's fine. I, all the things, everyone has the same food. Everybody has the same thing. What am I learning? Jack. Well, I guess it's time for us to decide now the best and the least best.
Let's start with the least best. Obviously the worst thing today was the teriyaki chicken bowl. It was horrible. It was, I don't know. I, don't, I just really didn't enjoy it and it tasted really bad as well. I don't know why it was there. Why was it there? There were some other not so great things. I hated the fact that the burgers, sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, everything was just the same sandwich with different bread. Simplify. This one was forever. We've been here for hours and hours. So much food. It's all the same. What was the best, Alexandria? The loaded mini tacos were not not the best. I liked the mini tacos. I like the taco. Okay. Jalapeno popper is a star everywhere I go. I guess it's kind of like, I, I think Jack in the Box is the second best option for wherever you are. I, Jack in the Box, you really are a Jack in the Box where sometimes it's a happy clown, sometimes it's a scary clown. And I felt like the menu was always that. Bouncing around between things that I really liked and things that I really hated. Oh, it was a tough day, but thanks so much to Ned for dropping by, for Zach to come and through. Eugene was here, and of course, my wonderful wife, Becky. Follow them all. Goodbye. This is Eat the Menu. We got through it. It was a real roller coaster this time. It was crazy, but we got through it. See you next time. I'm Keith Abertsberger. All right. Hey! <laughs>